Hey there. Ever wondered why bar fights are such a common scene in America after a few rounds of beer and whiskey? Well, let's dive into the science behind it and explore some solutions to keep the peace. So, why do bar fights happen? First off, alcohol plays a big role. Alcohol impairs our judgment, reduces our self-control, and enhances aggression. That's a volatile mix, especially in a crowded bar environment where personal space is limited and interactions are frequent. But there's more to it than just the booze. The atmosphere of a bar can contribute too. Dim lighting, loud music, and the general chaos can set the stage for misunderstandings and conflicts. Add alcohol to this mix, and you've got a recipe for trouble. Now let's talk about the types of drinks. Research suggests that the choice of drink might have an impact too. Spirits like whiskey are often consumed more quickly and have higher alcohol content, which can lead to quicker intoxication and lowered inhibitions. Beer being a social drink often leads to prolonged time at the bar, increasing the chances for conflicts to arise over time. But it's not all doom and gloom. There are practical steps that bar owners can take to prevent fights. One effective strategy is to train staff in conflict resolution. Educating bartenders and servers on how to spot and de-escalate potential conflicts can make a huge difference. Another useful approach is modifying the environment. Better lighting, reducing noise levels, and arranging seating to avoid overcrowding can help reduce tension. Also consider offering a variety of non-alcoholic drinks and promoting events that don't center around heavy drinking. Lastly, it's crucial to enforce a strict policy against aggressive behavior, making it clear that such behavior will not be tolerated and will result in immediate ejection from the bar, can deter potential troublemakers. In conclusion, while alcohol is a significant factor in bar fights, the environment and management strategies play crucial roles too. By understanding the triggers and implementing preventive measures, bar owners can create a safer, more enjoyable atmosphere for everyone. Remember, it's not just about managing drinks, but managing people and environments too. Cheers to safer nights out.